Congresswoman Maloney is an example of what each one of us can do. Even if you don't believe that you have, have that ability to influence and advocate, she's a terrific example of someone who started at the New York Junior League as a volunteer and really took that to the next level and the level after that. I would describe her as an activist, a feminist, a pioneer, a force to be reckoned with. She has accomplished more for New York than anyone who preceded her. Carolyn is tireless. She's persistent. She is never going to give up on something that she knows is important. I've learned that the quickest way to get something done is to watch around Carolyn, and if a person tells her no, she gets it done. I was born in North Carolina and raised in Virginia. I visited New York and I never left. I just fell in love with the city. And when I moved here, I didn't really know anyone. And I wanted to be more involved in the fabric of the civic life and uh, the, the uh, goals of the Junior League and serving the community. It's also uh, a way to meet people and to forge friendships. Uh, I never had a plan to go to Congress or even to go into public service. When I talk to my male colleagues, they say, well, when I was two, I knew I was going to Congress and I'm going to be president. They always had these huge aspirations, but sometimes women don't, until recently, have the same aspirations. When I went to Congress in, in 1992 and saw the Capitol Dome, my, my heart started pounding with excitement. I still have that wonderful feeling that you can make a difference. You can uh, strengthen them the freedoms that, that we have and cherish and, 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 and really working for and preserving the American dream. Something that Carolyn has always, always told me was that if you don't like something, then you change it. If you're the only woman in the room, then you work to make room for more women. If you are just one voice and the minority voice, then you be loud. I'm proud to count myself among the legions of women Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney has encouraged, mentored, and promoted to run for elected office in my unexpected election to Congress in 2011. In the throes of a very difficult race, Carolyn called me daily with encouragement, leaving messages saying, Kathy, it's Carolyn, you're a winner, I believe in you. Uh, when women succeed, America succeeds, and communities succeed. And when women succeed around the world, there's less violence, uh, there's less terrorism, there's more focus on education and health care. So empowering women and uh, to participate and to lead in their communities is uh, very important. The Junior League is really the go-to organization for women's civic leadership, and Carolyn embodies that spirit like no one else. It's important uh, to find a passion, something that you really want to do. And if you find a passion, then work is never work. She passes more bills than anyone. She doesn't, doesn't talk about them. She just gets them passed. And she's had many firsts. I think she was the first woman to give birth when she was a council member. <laughs> I would say that my proudest moments was the birth of my two children. My daughters also uh, came out at the Junior League. That was exciting, wonderful memories with my late husband and myself. Carolyn is a fantastic role model. So, of course, the mission of the Junior League is about improving communities. And we do that through direct service, but also through advocacy. And that's one part of our work that is sometimes overlooked. We're so proud of her. No matter what side of the, the aisle you're on, she really does embrace our mission and really advocates for those who, who need our help the most. The country needs more women and needs more women representatives in Congress and the Senate like Carolyn. Congresswoman Maloney is a national icon, a force for positive change, and I cannot think of a more deserving person than her for this award. I'm surprised every day. I was surprised when I won this award. I feel that uh, Mary Harriman and I worked on a lot of the same issues. Consumer protection. The League has always been an important part of my work in Congress. I can't tell you how much 
support means when you're trying to push to get something done and everybody's saying no, no, no. Oh, no. And then you can lean back and think, well, I've got the Junior League supporting it. <laughs> I'm not alone. <laughs> it's an outstanding organization. I'm very proud to be a member of it.